Hey everyone, how's it going? This will be a short little teardown video of a uh, transmission and noise measuring set made by Hewlett Packard. It's in this nice carrying case, quite old leather strap. It's a model 3555B. I don't much, I don't know much about it other than really that it measures noise and stuff like that. There's a few conditions on the outside. There's a standard computer plug, AC or battery, and I'm not sure what that's for. Nothing on the other side. We've got a voltage selector on the back, spare fuse and 150 milliamp fuse, and a battery cover. Let's pop these screws and have a quick look before I open the front. So not much there. So there's um, a trim adjustment there. And some kind of battery connection. Um, there's not. There's actually nothing else there. I don't know how many volts this thing is actually supposed to take. Um, so yeah. I'll open the front. So there is a bunch of instructions on here. Operating instructions. It's kind of nice. So we got power switch, we got response, damp and normal. Don't know exactly what that means. We got our ranges. I have no idea what DBM or DBRM mean. Switches moves very freely. Wow. Inputs, noise, TMS. So I know nothing about this. If anyone knows in more detail exactly what all this stuff does, uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll be sure to read it. We got a lot of terminal connections here. These are rather odd ones. I don't know what would fit into those. And even these square terminals are, are strange. I don't know what kind of connection would fit on them. A carrier functions. Very sturdy. Very very well made. Pop the front and have a look inside. Jeez, the screws are really in there. It almost pops all the way out. Can I disconnect that? I don't believe I can. So I'll have to leave the two halves together here. Ah, and there ain't much room. Well, this is what's in the back. Not too much. And um, I think that there's for the... That's the voltage selector. Oh, that's going to be an issue. And not much to see on top. We've got a big 
it looks like a big metal capacitor. I can't really read what's on it. It's got a plastic coating on it. It's making it reflective. Some kind of box, possibly a relay box, or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe it's a capacitor. It could be anything. Apply signal through 75 ohm input. Test board. Huh. It's kind of neat. We got calibration. Right there. So, 1 hertz. Again, I don't know anything about this. Um, the circuitry is very clean. It's very nice. Looks like they're all covered with like a. It looks like they're all gold plated or something. Again, same on the bottom. I'm not too sure what that is. Those holes on the front, I didn't know what they were at the bottom. It's whatever they're for. It's it's these. These are connected to all those holes. It looks like the top board is removable. Let me take out some more screws and see if I can have a peek underneath it. Because it looks like it's connected right there. This whole machine is very clean. It's been very well looked after. Alright, let's see if this will pop out. I do not see any more screws. Oh wait, it moves up. It probably moves up and out. Uh, so there's actually, I, mean, I can see underneath it, there's actually nothing there. It's some kind of enclosed box, so I do not know what's inside that box. And, um, let me let me pause the video and see if I can dig deeper into this without permanently wrecking something. One moment, please. All right, so I managed to get the covers off. This board did just kind of slide out, but uh, the connections were really strong. It was a really secure connection. Very nicely made board, and this is what was underneath it. And then this was underneath that. So that must be our main switch. Let's see if I can rotate it here. Yeah, that's our main switch. The contacts are uh, they're, they're a little grimy. I will clean those up, but uh, yeah, it's actually in pretty darn good shape. Those must be your side switches. Yep, and the other one. So that, that's interesting there. That uh, blackish gray box that uh, was on the top, these are the connections for it. And it looks like there's two little lights on it there. I don't know why it would have that. And I'm still no clue what this is. For all I know, it could be some kind of buzzer. No idea. Uh, so there's actually not that much else to uh, show you guys. But uh, it is very nicely constructed. Gold covered traces. Gold connections. Even that test board, like... I don't know really how it's a test board, but even those are gold coated. Very high quality stuff. Hmm. So yeah, that's the transmission and noise measuring set. Teardown. Made by 
Hewlett Packard, made in USA. Thanks for watching, and if you know anything about this, leave uh, some info in the comments. I'm sure someone could use it.